Okay, in this screencast we're going to take a look at the process we need to go through to upload a document to a reference library. So on this page we've got a reference library used by a staff team and they've created some folders for minutes and agendas. That folder has got a, a subfolder called 2012 for the meeting and agendas for this year. It's all, they've also got a web links folder and an essential documents folder. So we're going to upload the minutes of our meeting. So we need to click on the subfolder for this year and that will open up and it gives us a little button here called add entry which allows us to add the minutes to our content and then into the reference library. So here's the content portal within Ultranet and here's the button that we need to click on, the Upload Resources button. So we click on that, click on the Add Files button and Ultranet will allow you to upload most file types. Most commonly we would use Word documents, um, Excel spreadsheets, PDF files, those kinds of things. So looking down the list here I've got the minutes to a meeting here, it's a Word document so I'll click on that and select it. I've got the um, file title here but I need to put in a tag and the obvious tag for that is minutes. A tag is a keyword to describe the document. So I've written down minutes there. Click on the upload button. I need to check some of these boxes to assure that I'm allowed to upload the document that I've chosen. So I can click the first one saying that my material contains no personal information about others. I also have the copyright and intellectual property rights to upload the document, so I'll click on yes there, click continue, and that document will begin to upload into the content portal of Ultranet. So just waiting for that to be uploaded now, and we'll get a little button here that says OK. So we click on the OK button. There's our minutes here, so if I check the checkbox next to that document, and then click the Add Selected button, that document will then appear in the reference library. And when I scroll down here I should be able to find that document. I think it's this one that's just been uploaded today to the reference library. Then all I need to do is return to full page and I've gone through that file upload process. And that document's now available in that folder for the rest of the team to download should they wish to.